This is the machine that powers the world. It's an internal combustion engine. And to be more exact, it's a 4.6 liter V8 that gets somewhere around 18 miles per gallon. And with gas prices at what they are today, this engine is helping to make someone very rich. And as bad as I hate to say it, it's definitely not me. Now, try to imagine this, an engine that doesn't require an outside fuel source. You just turn it on and let it run. And the best part, it runs off of something as simple as a permanent magnet. You know, that thingy that you use to stick your grocery list to your refrigerator? Now, it's no secret how a magnet works. Opposite poles attract, while like poles repel. The trick is to use the magnetic fields to create mechanical energy. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's a magnet connected to each piece of wood, and they have alike poles facing outward. So now, when I push one magnet in front of the other, they immediately kick away. Looks pretty simple, right? The thing is, there's a little more to it than just that. You have to find the right alignment of magnets. That way, one group of magnets can push another group through their starting position. This creates a process that restarts over and over again. And what do you get? A non-stop continuous cycle that will run until the magnets lose their fields. Now, I know what you're thinking. How long does a magnet last? And the answer to that question is somewhere around 400 years, give or take 100. The point is, the energy source would outlive its owner. Now, you remember the engine that's helping to make the oil companies rich, right? Well, there is one part that is of interest here, and that is the alternator. You see, as long as this machine keeps turning, it produces an electrical current. So, why not take this machine and connect it to this machine? Then you would have, dependent on its size, a generator that could run anything. And yes, that would even include your house. Could you imagine never paying for electricity again? I can live with that. Could you?